I've been um, with the city of Mebbin for 23 plus years now. I've been a Mebbin resident for, for the last uh, 16, 17 years. So Mebbin is home professionally and personally speaking. Well, see if I can maybe narrow it down, which seems to be a broad um, question. Mm -hmm. So I, I think development in terms of our youth, mm -hmm. um, and I don't necessarily know whether that's a responsibility of our school systems um, or our business associations, but uh, I think planning for tomorrow, um, with that being said, the development of, of our young people. Um, Alamance County, I don't necessarily know. I can speak more specifically to to what's occurring within the city limits of Mebane and in the uh, eastern part of the county, particularly. A lot of growth and expansion industrially, commercially, and residentially also. So um, I see a population increasing uh, with that, you know, business and, and all the things that I think are associated with general growth. So. The culture. Um, I, I get asked that question a lot, and so my, my response is quick and always the same. I think the culture, um, the climate of the city is great. Um, Mevin affords you all the amenities of, of a larger city, um, and the amenities that we don't have in the city are very easily accessible um, by way of Burlington. Durham, Chapel Hill, Greensboro, those outlet cities, if you will. So, um, and again, it, I think the environment is, is, is one that I just love. It's kind of lengthy for me. Uh, first and foremost, uh, my father is a retired police officer from Chapel Hill. Um, my family has a history. My uncles, uh, my cousins that I grew up behind, all went into law enforcement. So um, I had a cousin, one of my cousins that I was particularly close to, um, I just kind of followed his footsteps of uh, going into the armed forces, the United States Army and serving for six years um, as a military policeman and then getting out of the service, service and uh, pursuing a career in, in local law enforcement. Well, um, I, I think Perhaps the organizations or the entities that um, could put someone in position to help probably need to be a little more vocal, um, need to expose themselves a little more. Um, I have conversation with people all the time who want to help the community. That's one of the other great things about Mebbin that I failed to, to mention is there's just such a um, great sense of community involvement. I think which makes this community very special, very unique, and seems starting to spread throughout the county, of course. But um, I think if the resources that help and offer help were a little more visible, then I think we'd see um, a lot more participation because the, the desire to, to, to help and to make this a successful community is certainly out there, I believe. Yeah, absolutely. That's the that's the, the engine, that's the motor that drives the vehicle for me, and that's what I really push uh, to, to, to my officers here at the department. Um, 23 years, obviously close to 30 years of, of service to my country and to, um, to the people of Alamance County and, and more so the city of Mebbin. Um, and it's always been driven by the um, sense of accomplishment or the sense of having helped somebody, the, the sense of having impacted, um, if just one person on a given day, just having impacted that one life. Um, and sometimes you see these stories, Now I've been around for a while, so um, I've been the benefactor of, of having seen some of the, the kids, for example, that I interacted with uh, when I was a patrol officer, and now they're adults, they have families, they have kids themselves, and uh, of course I know I'm starting to kind of tell my age a little bit. But, uh, but nonetheless, the, the um, satisfaction of knowing that you have, you know, oftentimes people who want to get into our business say, well, I want to be able to help somebody. 
I want to be able to influence somebody's life. You know, sometimes there are those that get in and uh, perhaps they do and, and sometimes they don't. Uh, for me, it's it's been a career of, of satisfaction um, and being able to help. And that's uh, why I come to work today with that same energy uh, that I came with 20-something plus years ago because on this day, you know, I come with, with a goal of, of helping somebody um, and doing something positive for the community. So. Okay, uh, again, um, I think first and foremost, a sense of, uh, or a sense that the community uh, wants to work collectively to be successful. Um, secondarily, having a great school system, having, you know, a young one that's just kind of started in, in the school system. Um, and that's a question very easily answered for me because I've been exposed to it uh, from, from teaching there um, in the schools to, to just being involved in different community organizations. And I see all these components firsthand. So, um, and that just makes it more enticing for me, um, individually speaking, but then secondarily, when people call the Mevin Police Department, people come by and say, hey, I'm thinking about moving to Mevin. I'm thinking about moving to Alamance County. I can speak to those people from my heart and tell them why they should really consider um, uh, Mevin or Alamance County as a home. And just a quick example of that is I was out at um, one of our local outlets um, watching my daughter play and in general conversation, this couple from um, the Durham area was looking to purchase and um, I think they asked me about um, if I was from this area, not knowing who I was. And I said, yeah, I am very casually. Uh, but the conversation very quickly um, transferred from just to, you know, do you know how to get here to, yeah, I've kind of been here for about 30 years or so. So, uh, and they of course asked about the, the culture and the climate of community and um, I, we communicated long short of it and um, I received an email from the gentleman and said based on our conversation that we had at the playground uh, my wife and I are definitely going to be looking to purchase um, in the Mevin Alamance County area so um, just a, a little personal testimony 